What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. Well, I made a prediction a couple of days ago that the pre-sale for Rebellion was going to sell out before Land launched, assuming Land does launch on November 14th, Tuesday, November 14th. And uh, I, I gotta say, I don't, I don't know if my prediction is gonna come true. I was feeling a little bullish. I thought maybe there'd be a lot of momentum over the weekend. And while we have seen some pack sales, there's still 155,000 packs available on the store. And I'm recording this on Sunday night, so there's about 36 hours left between now and when Land essentially launches. So. What I'm looking at and what I'm considering, and I, I I did this early on a live stream and I thought it'd just be fun to do it with the, the rest of the community here because I know not all of you guys come through on the live streams, is try to figure out, we'll do like a little analysis, try to figure out where are the thresholds going to be? What are your expectations? And obviously we're we're gonna find out here over the next couple of days, whether it's before land or not or after land. Uh, you know, the sale is less than five days, right? So land is coming out in less than two days, but the sale is officially less than five days uh, away from being completed, whether or not we sell out. So my question is, where do you think we will be in terms of the four different thresholds for rewards, right? So uh, the first is, you know, top six, you get to design your own summoner. The next is gonna be top 30 for a legendary title. After that, it'll be the top 100 for an epic title, and then the top 250 for the rare rebel title. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my thoughts here, and then if you if you wanna participate, just out of curiosity, I'm, uh, I, I would like to know where the rest of the community sees things going. Over the next we'll call it 36 to 96 hours right between now between now and friday essentially or between now land and friday all that's going on uh my my thresholds and it seems like a, this is a general consensus across many others is that when the fireworks do start coming in the minimum will probably be around ten thousand. now that's still relatively high in my opinion i think that's just the going narrative so i wonder if in a way it's going to be somewhat of a self-fulfilling prophecy where anybody who is actually trying to go and get one of these these packs right or one of these spots they're going to think to themselves, well, I need to be ready to have 10K just in case. And then as soon as one of them starts pulling the trigger, then all of a sudden, you know, it's it's going to be a free for all. So, again, 10K still seems a little high considering how much has been spent so far. But I, I would say that, you know, I'm still going to roll with 10K just because that, that seems like a, a safe bet. Uh, but if it doesn't end up going up there, then maybe there just wasn't as much FOMO and hype as I was thinking that there was. Uh, looking at the next threshold, so the top 30 in order to get a legendary title. This is really close to, right? 2,600 packs, 2,616 to be exact, gets you that legendary title as of right now, the Dawnbringer. But you can see here all of the people like within 100, 200 packs. I mean, it's not very far Right. So you, you have uh, maybe I don't I don't know how many people this is, but uh, coming out at least 10, 11 spots. And then I would even say, you know, folks, folks are like 300 packs away. That's if you're already spending 2300 packs and there's a chance of getting a legendary title. I'm sure there are going to be some folks that decide to go for it. So the question then becomes, well, how high is this going to go? Now, I'm going to be rather conservative on this uh, just because, you know, these are probably not, uh, they're, well, they're not the biggest spenders in the game. Obviously, that's for the top six. But my, my guess is that this does drift up towards 3,000. So if you have 3,000 right now, that does get you into the 23rd, or I guess technically the 24th spot. So there would be like six spots to fill there. But I would say 3,000 is what I'm feeling comfortable predicting for, uh, for right now. Maybe it goes up a little bit, maybe it doesn't, but um, you know, I why wouldn't you want a legendary over an epic title? All right, speaking of epic titles, this is the Defiant, and this is going to be the top 100. So you can see here that it's 825 packs to get this title. There's actually a tie right now between the 100th and the 101st, so somebody's on the outside looking in. But similarly, right, it's just, you know, there, there's what, five spots here all at, uh, you know, 25 packs or so away. And then I would say, you know, anybody here that's within like the 700 or even 650 range, which you do have quite a few folks, I mean, they could come in and make a 150 buck or not 150 uh, dollar, but 150 pack purchase to get in the running. And that goes down, you know, 18 or so spots. So my guess would be that obviously this is not going to end at 825. I would expect this to go up to a thousand. But even looking at, you know, number 97, a thousand right now, I'm going to bump my prediction up and say probably closer to 11 or 1200. But 
uh, again, maybe I'm just feeling a little too bullish here and we'll, we'll end up seeing where, where things uh, eventually shake out. And then the final spot uh, is going to be at the 250th. This is to actually get a title, the, the lowest title on the totem pole, which is uh, rare and the rebel title. Now, right now, this has been jumped up to 200 packs. Uh, a little while ago, it was it was like 150 or so. So we're starting to see even the smaller players, right? The smaller buyers, I should say, uh, starting to jockey for position. So this has drifted up 33% in just the past week. And I wouldn't be surprised if we continue to see this rise. Now, there's going to be a lot of folks here. It's at the long tail of uh, of this, so it's not really going to move uh, the needle in terms of like total packs that are purchased. But there are a lot of folks that could be within striking distance, and you can see, you know, even just going down to like the top 100. Oh, well, we can't even do that, right? So the the 50 people that are not not in it, right, 251 to 300, they're all like less than 100 packs away. And I know, you know, 100 packs for some folks is is completely out of the picture. But I'm sure there are others that will look at this and say, hey, if it gets close, I might as well just grab another 100 packs and see what happens. If I can get a Rebel title out of it, I might as well. So those are my predictions here. Or did I give a prediction? Um... For, for this 200, I, I would say I would say 300 to 350 is where I'm thinking this ends up. But those are my predictions. I'm curious to know where you guys see each of the thresholds. Again, this is just for fun. I'm curious to know what the community is expecting here. And like I said, who knows? We may even manifest some of it if we just keep on speaking it into existence. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also, if you're willing to share, I'm curious to know who is still planning on buying packs, whether it is to jockey for position or just to grab packs in the pre-sale for the benefits of which uh, we haven't even covered here, right? So uh, in addition to the title, you also get those cool promo cards. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.